This tutorial shows how to make a key system where the player needs to collect a key before being allowed to another part of the map. It can also be used as a checkpoint system with some tweaking, but special care needs to be taken to prevent exploits in both cases. Create a filter activator context. Name it, select disallow entities that match criteria for filter mode, and add a filter context name of your choice. Next, create a trigger multiple. Go to outputs and do this. This trigger will be the key. Next, to make the door, create a trigger push. Make it push the player away from the entrance and put the name of your filter activator context in filter name. Next, you need a way to take the key from the player to prevent exploits. Create a trigger multiple, go to outputs, and do this. If you have multiple keys and you want to remove a specific one, you can use remove context and then the key name instead. The basic principle is that the player cannot go through the door by default unless they touch a specific trigger. In our case, the key. For a checkpoint system, the only thing that changes is the filter mode being on allow entities that match criteria, because you don't want the player to get teleported by default without reaching their checkpoint first. And instead of using a trigger push, you use a trigger teleport and a teleport destination instead. In the case of the key system, the player will keep the keys unless they are removed from them by using another trigger. This can allow a player to exploit the map and break it. For example, in a KZ map, it is best to remove the keys at the start of the map as the player cannot start their timer unless they get to some specific parts where you can place triggers to remove the keys. You can add a visual representation and audio cues when the player collects the key. I linked an example map in the description for that. Anyway, I think the most important thing about making this is to know where to place the triggers so that the player cannot exploit your map. 